Vocal warm-up. You're doing it all wrong. You need to stop thinking about warming up your voice and start thinking about activating your voice. A vocal warm-up is not a technical workout, so keep it short. Anything over 20 minutes is no longer activating your voice, it's working out. You want to separate your practice into three categories. Activation, technical practice, and song rehearsal. I'm going to go over every step in detail with you so you learn exactly what you're doing, which muscles you're activating, and what the exercises are targeting. In another video, I will cut all of the voice activation exercises together in one sequence so you can come back and guide yourself through your daily voice activation. So how do we activate our voice effectively? Voice activation is the process of moving all of the moving parts in a way that's going to increase your performance output. If you're older than 20 years old and you've been doing any kind of sports, you probably remember that part of the recommended warm-up was to do stretching. The sports industry has invested billions of dollars into how to get the most output out of their athletes, and they've discovered something very interesting about how muscles work. This is why nowadays you will never see a professional athlete stretching before performance because it actually lowers output. In singing, we're using many, many muscles and muscles work the same way. It doesn't matter what size they are. So we need to activate our voice using dynamic movement. What is that? Dynamic movement, dynamic stretching, dynamic potential. These all mean exerting force in motion. So if you want to increase the output of your performance, which is the whole purpose of voice activation, then we need to be using dynamic exercises. I created an entire online course dedicated to the subject of dynamic movement potential. It's absolutely worth a deep dive. Now I'm going to show you how to activate your voice using dynamic exercises. The same way a professional athlete will use dynamic exercises to get peak performance for their sport. To do this effectively, we need to activate all of the muscles that move during singing. Can you guess how many muscles we use during singing? There are 98 muscles involved in the process of singing. 98 muscles. That's a lot of muscles. During this complete voice activation, I'm going to show you the muscles that are being used and talk to you about which ones we are activating in each exercise. It all starts with your respiratory system, the muscles that we use to move air in and out of our body. We're going to start with what I call a respiratory reset. We're going to pull in the lower abdomen all the way as we exhale. I'm going to actually compress my chest and ribs by leaning forward a little bit to squeeze out all the air. When I get to the empty spot, I'm gonna hold for a second, then I'm gonna release all of that, open my jaw joint, and breathe in through my nose. And then I'm gonna relax for a couple breaths. Are you ready? Let's do it. Exhale. Good, have an easy breath in between, and one more time. Another relaxed inhalation, easy breath, and now the third time. Have some easy, calm breaths now. And if you feel lightheaded at any time during these exercises, go ahead and sit down. Just push pause on the video. We're gonna be moving a lot of air. We are expanding and contracting all the muscles between the ribs, the intercostal muscles. We're working the diaphragm. We're working the abdominal muscles. We're working the muscles of the lower back, the upper back, the lats. We're really working all of the muscles of the respiratory system. They're contracting, they're releasing through the, the oxygen intake, we are flooding all these muscles with great circulation 
and oxygen. So now these muscles, they are ready to go. We've reset our respiratory system. This next exercise, we're going to continue to work and activate the respiratory system. Now we have a couple goals here. I'm gonna blend them in on the screen so you can remember what we're going for in this exercise. We want a smooth movement. We're gonna pull the lower abdomen below the belly button, slowly in consistently the entire time we're exhaling. We're going to release it and inhale back through the nose with that open jaw joint. We're also looking for a consistent, smooth release of the airflow. So we're going to use consonants that make a sound. These are aspirated consonants. You only create them with air, like sh, f, s. And we're also going to use the common lip trill. So I'm going to demonstrate once for you and then follow along. Observe and pay attention to the goals and what we're moving. So I'm gonna place my hands belly button with the thumbs and make a little triangle down to the lower pelvic floor and we're going to move that area in. Are you ready? Great. Here we go with an SH. Great, you notice I'm doing three short movements, about one to two seconds, and I'm making sure that movement is smooth inward with the lower abdomen. The airflow is equally smooth going out, and I follow that by releasing the lower abdomen for good inhalation. Three times short, and then the fourth time, we're going to extend that for about five to seven seconds. Great, let's do it together. Are you ready? Here comes the shh. Inhale and shh. Keep it nice and relaxed. Now let's move on to the next consonant. Don't over inhale before starting this. We don't want too much pressure in the system. Easy inhalation. Great job, keep it nice and fluid. Make sure your body is moving, but relax. Don't let anything tighten up and hold on you. Now we're going to the third consonant, S. S, S, Great, and now the lip trill. Nice and easy. Well done. You can take a break or repeat some of these as practice while I tell you about what we're activating. How do you feel? It's a light workout, isn't it? That's the whole point, to use the muscles, exert force in motion without fatiguing them. So how does your voice feel? Mine is already feeling like it's loosening up with the nice activation of the respiratory system. Go ahead and have a drink of water at any time. It's good to have water on hand while you're activating. We are gonna be moving a lot of air. Activity number three. Synchronizing the body, breath, and voice. We're going to use the same exercise we just did with the same goals. We want a steady, slow, sustained movement, a steady stream of airflow. We want the sound to remain even, and we want an even volume level. Okay, those are all important. I'll blend them in on the screen for you so you can remember them. Okay, what is the movement? We're moving the lower abdomen, releasing for the inhalation same exact movement. It's important that you don't change anything about 
the previous exercise, all you're going to do is turn on your voice. Well, I'm going to start with the SH, which now becomes ZH. SH, SH. Add the voice, SH, SH. Like treasure. We want to do this in our low, comfortable range. If it's too low for you, simply go up a little bit in pitch. But this note is generally comfortable for most people. Here we go. All right, easy enough. Let's do it together. SH. Now the F becomes V. F with the voice V. Relax. The S becomes Z. Here we go. Great job. Now we add the lip trill. The sound with the voice becomes here we go and relax how did you do it's actually extremely difficult to execute this exercise perfectly Every time I do it, I'm looking for the smoothness. How smooth can I get it? How easy and even can I get it? And that's the part that's tricky. Sometimes you can even feel your pulse wobbling the sound a little bit. So we're looking for really a high, high level of smoothness, synchronized movement coming in evenly, and the sound and air going out perfectly evenly perfect smoothness. That's the goal. And every day you're going to activate that. You'll get better as you go. So how does your voice feel now? How does it sound? You may notice that my voice is getting a little smoother, a little bit resonant. That's because we synchronize the body, breath, and voice. We're fueling the voice and activating those muscles. It really makes a difference immediately. We just moved a lot of air, so if you want to put the video on pause and have a drink of water, go ahead. We just activated the muscles that regulate the adduction, the closure of the vocal cord. I'm going to blend in on the screen the muscles that you activated. These are the transverse arytenoid muscle, the thyroarytenoid muscle, and the lateral cricoarytenoid muscle. We're going to be working on the lengthening and shortening of the vocal folds. We're going to use the same exercise. We're simply going to glide up and down in pitch this time. And we're going to glide between a fifth and an octave interval. Not thinking any individual notes, really gliding as smooth as possible up and controlling the glide back down. We still have the same goals, smooth movement, smooth sound, even volume level, all of the same rules apply. Now we're just going to change pitch to activate the stretching, the lengthening and shortening of the vocal folds. Here we go. We're going to start with the So let me demonstrate this once for you and we'll go from there. Easy enough. Let's follow along now. <laughs> 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 
really control the descent. We are activating the control in the lengthening and shortening. Moving on to the Z. Take your time, get that full stretch in there. Lip trill. S H. At any time, you can drop out if it becomes uncomfortable for your current ability level. Lip trill. Now listen to the sound of your voice. With the same effort level, my voice is suddenly louder. That's the whole point. With efficiency comes progress. Now my voice is really getting activated. So we just activated the muscles that lengthen and shorten the vocal folds as well. The muscles we activated are the thyroarytenoid muscle and vocalis muscle, as well as the CT, the cricothyroid muscle. These regulate lengthening and shortening. The intrinsic muscles of the larynx are simply named for the parts inside of the larynx which they connect. The thyroarytenoid muscle connects the thyroid cartilage to the arytenoid cartilage. Activity five, thickness and thinness of the vocal folds or using more and less mass. Why is this important? Well, when we speak and sing, we make sounds that are different. We make loud sounds, soft sounds, higher pitch sounds, lower pitch sounds, brighter and darker, and all of these are regulated with the mass of the vocal folds. So we have specific muscle groups that we want to activate that regulate how thick and how thin the vocal folds are. A very easy way to do this is building on the exercises we've just done and we're going to rev, like the revving of the motor of a car or a motorcycle, for example. The coordination of these muscle groups give us that control, even our pitch accuracy. So we want to make sure we warm them up correctly. The goals for this exercise are the same. The movement is the same. Let me demonstrate and we'll start off doing the same interval, a fifth and then an octave. <laughs> Notice now that the volume level is increasing. That easy revving sound. That's what we want to do. We're just going to do it over the fifth and the eighth or octave interval. Let's do them together now. On to the V. Back down. Z. Lip trill. Great. And you can just add some little sounds in there. 
Go ahead, take a short break, relax, have a drink of water, and then we'll move on to the next activity. Let's move on to activity six. This is level two of lengthening and shortening. We're going to increase this to a much broader range. What we're going to do is use the lip trill exercise. Follow along with me and don't force this. It's much better to be efficient and gentle with the voice during the activation phase than to force it. Drop out if it becomes too high or uncomfortable and just join back in when it fits your ability level. Different voice types cover slightly different ranges. There's no need for you to struggle with this exercise. Let's do it. <laughs> You can use your fingers if you need assistance for the lip trill. If you don't, you don't have to use them. I just wanted to demonstrate for you both ways. Now we're going to start there. It's not our extreme high, but we're going to start and slide down. Just slide all the way down nice and lightly. Two octaves. How's your smoothness doing? Great, nice job. Go ahead, put the video on pause if you need a break, have a sip of water. The next activity we're going to be doing, number seven, is activating through the use of nasal consonants. I talk a lot about the benefits of nasal consonants in my courses. So if you wanna learn how to maximize and get the most out of nasal consonants, check out my online courses. The M, N, and N, G are nasal consonants. They close the mouth with the lips, the front of the tongue, or the back of the tongue. They block the air from escaping out through the mouth. The air has to escape through the nose. This creates a smaller exhalation route and creates supraglottal pressure. Why is that beneficial? Well, that supraglottal pressure is air pressure moving back towards your vocal folds, meeting the pressure coming up from below, from your lungs, the subglottal pressure. It helps the vocal folds by putting them in a more neutral pressure zone where it is easier for them to adduct and to move. Also, it allows you, these consonants, allow you to feel your biofeedback, your resonance, how the sound feels inside of your body. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. They give you more intensified biofeedback. So we're activating resonance while we're doing this. I'll blend in on the screen all of the muscles and all of the benefits that you're going to get out of this exercise. During these exercises, you will be activating all of the muscle groups I'm blending in on the screen for you. 
We're going to use glides, again, glides, because we're working that lengthening and shortening of the vocal fold all the time and that control in there. We're gonna use the glides in a comfortable pitch range. There's one more thing I've found that helps improve these exercises significantly, and that is making sure your jaw joint is open. Keeping the jaw joint open helps you create a little bit more space and it improves the overall resonance for you. These aren't very difficult exercises, so I'll demonstrate one for you and then you go ahead and follow along. Are you ready? Great, let's get started. We'll start with the word home. Home. For the N, we're going to say hen. Hen. For the NG, Hong, as in Hong Kong, Hong. Take your time with these. Home, home. Work on your smoothness, make adjustments as you go. Hen. Hen. Good, and on that N, release any tension inside of your tongue. Hong, Hong. Back to home. Home. Hen. Hong. Hong. Home. Home. Hen. Hen. Move your neck and head a little bit to loosen up. Hong. Home. Home. Hen. Hen. Hong. Hong. Back to home. Home. Hen. Hen. Hong, Hong. And finishing on home. Home. Nice job. How's your voice feeling now? Go ahead and take a break, put it on pause, have a drink of water. I'm going to demonstrate once for you so you can hear and observe the exercises. Remember that the M has the lips closed and jaw joint open. The N, the tip of the tongue is up right behind the front teeth. The jaw joint is open and the NG uh, is in the back. The back of the tongue connects with the uvula. So there are specific tongue positions in the N and NG want to make sure to remind you that while you're doing it to release any tightness and tension within the tongue. Okay? Great. Let's begin. We're going to glide 151 and 515 starting with the word home. 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 
Moving on to N with hen. 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 Moving on to Hong, as in Hong Kong. Hong. Hong. You see me occasionally moving my head a little bit. It's just so I remind my neck and jaw and head to relax. Home. Home. Hen. 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 Great job. Keep working and just take your time. Hong. Drop out if anything gets uncomfortable for you. Home. 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 Hen. 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 Nice job, good work. In activity eight, we're going to be activating the face, lips, jaw, larynx, and we're going to be using our face. How many muscles do you think you use in facial expression? 43. 43 muscles just to move your face. So we're going to activate all of these at the same time during this exercise. We're also going to be moving the tongue through all of the vowel movements as well as engaging the pharyngeal constrictor muscles as we go through these vowels. This is very simple. You just need to say wow meow. But we really need to exaggerate the facial expression to the extremes. Wow, lips come out, ooh, and now you're gonna open up all the way, really engage your whole face. I'll demonstrate, and then we'll do it together. 
Wow, meow. And believe me, I know what it looks like. All right, are you ready? Wow, meow. Wow, meow. Wow, meow. So on the wow, we're working that stretch of the lips forward, then we're opening really big, wide eyes. Wow. Back to ooh, little. Now we're going wide on the me, me, squinting the cheeks up to the eyes, and then opening real big and wrapping around to the front. Slow motion. Wow, meow. All right, let's do that now. Five times in a row. Wow, meow. Wow, meow. Wow, meow. Wow, meow. Now, if you're warming up or activating your voice somewhere before an audition or something like that, you might not need to say wow, meow. Just go through the same movements. Let's try that. You just activated 43 muscles in your face. You activated your larynx, your pharynx, and your tongue. During this dynamic exercise, we'll continue to activate many muscle groups at the same time. Continuing with the glide slide, sometimes called sirens, we're going to move the mouth and tongue, allowing us to activate many more muscle groups. We don't want to force this. We're just gonna let the voice shift whenever it wants to shift. We're going to start with the words we and you. Use your extreme embouchure shape and keep the top light. We, you, we, you, we, you, we, you, we, you, we, you, we, Feel that larynx going up and down? You, we, you, we, you, we, you, we, you, we, you, we, you. Now let's go to the words ow wow and we're going to be doing the same thing. Ooh, wow. Ow, wow. Ooh, wow. Ow, wow. Ooh, wow. Ow, wow. Sliding down. Oh, 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 Take a little break if you'd like to, get a sip of water, put the video on pause. We're going to continue on now preparing the voice for louder volume singing. Okay, in activity 10, we're preparing the voice for a higher volume level. Adduction, compression, cord thickness, pharyngeal tuning, larynx placement, tongue placement, and using the respiratory system for our airflow control. So what I want you to do is not sing. This is key. 
don't sing. We're going to be using words from the English language that you know every day that actually do the preparation for you. So make the sounds as naturally as possible. We're just going to use these words throughout different parts of your range to get all of the functions and muscles going that you need for sustained powerful singing. Be sure you don't shout. Some of these sounds may sound big and loud, but I am not shouting, okay? It's more akin to calling out to somebody. Hey Jeff, how's it going? Right, it's just calling out. It's a louder sound, but it's not straining with, Hey Jeff! All right, so don't shout, don't sing, just speak naturally and follow along with me. First word, wow. Use the movement of your mouth. Wow, wow. Wow! Also, as I jump around through my range, if any of these pitches are uncomfortable for you, just stop, don't do it. Use a lower pitch or a higher pitch, something that works better in your voice, okay? We want to be in the main section of our voice, and occasionally we're going to pop up, pop down. But keep it natural, right? Okay, let's go. Wow! 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 Hello? Hello, 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 hello. Nice job. How's it going? Keep it easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Let's go with a hey, you. Hey you, 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 hey yo man, hey yo man, hey yo man, yo man, man, hey man, hey yo man. Yo, 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 man, yo, man, yo, man, yo, oh, no, 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 oh, no. No way. No way. No way. No way, man. No way. No way, man. No way. No way, man. Yo, yo, yo. Hello. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Great job. We're using those natural words and sounds, just bouncing them around through our register to get everything synchronizing together in a gentle but elevated volume level. That's it. Your voice is now completely activated. It's very important that you stay calm during these activation exercises because we are activating the movement of these muscles. We are working them out lightly, but we don't want to fatigue them or strain them. Voice responds to being used. The more you use your voice, the better your control is going to get. Not only are these exercises wonderful to warm up the voice, they will also develop your coordination at the same time. So you're actually working indirectly on your technique. And you can take these exercises and put them into a more targeted technical training workout. I use these exercises or similar exercises every time I activate my voice. Now here's a key thing that you want to remember. You're not going to need to do the full 20 minutes every single time. When I'm preparing for a performance, I will get up in the morning and I will do this activation. Then I'll let my voice rest for a while and I'll go back and prepare for the performance. So get to know your voice and know what you need to do to get everything activated. If you use this on a daily basis, you are going to see some dramatic improvement in your singing. All of the exercises 
are going to be cut together in a shorter video where you can just tune in and follow along and do your daily voice activation workout. You can come back to this video as often as you like to get more information and keep the learning going. Really important to me to help singers raise their vibration and reach their singing goals. So together we can all accelerate our progress. If you found this video valuable, please share it with other singers and subscribe to my channel.